Alright, time to get back to the Riverwood Trader and um Tell the good news, it's getting laid out. What time is it? 7 p.m. It's also about to rain, it seems like. Hi! What are you doing here by yourself? I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trust yourself. I get so lonely out here. Yeah, but you're... Because you're by yourself. Don't mind me. Just making sure you're not... Oh. Oh. Um. You see nothing. I've actually never noticed this before. Letter from in uh, Helgi, dear, why do you why do you hesitate? And feel the power coursing through in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven, and your training will truly begin. Uh. Okay, then. He's, uh, witch in training? Yes. Anise and Helgi. Oh, God! Uh, sorry? That's actually, in all my playthroughs, I've never even noticed that cellar before. So that's the first time ever that that's happened to me. Hopefully they're still open. Good. They still open. Hello? Hi. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. I've got good news. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll Never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. Some may call gold. this nice. junk. Me, I call them treasures. I sold some things, and I have bought myself the lesser ward spell. If I'm gonna do any kind of magic, I might as well do restoration. I don't plan on using any offensive uh, magic. Um, you're mostly going to be a melee type character. But, if I'm versing spellcasters, I have something to, uh, combat that. Even though my mana, Jesus, my mana goes down quickly. Uh, let's see if I can make anything. I mainly want to make a, uh, backpack. I have a few hides. What does it take to make a backpack? Um, they're just pelts. I've got one wolf pelt. But I can make some leather strips, I think. Elk hide. Okay, so I got enough leather strips for. I just need a wolf pelt, so I'm gonna, I might go out there and hunt before I get a I think that's the way I left the mines. I 
I hear him. I hear that. Hello. Ah. Jesus. Any more? Hope not. Why did that one have an amethyst on him? All right, let's go back and make that myself a backpack. But now I have a backpack. Look at that! All this stuff goes on it. So, getting laid out. Might as well get a night's rest. I'm also hungry, I think. Big potato. There we go. <clears throat> Are you listening? Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Did you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in. Come on in. Just stop the fire. Take ben, you're the guy that the um that doesn't work. And that the uh Bane doll doesn't like. I don't know what you're playing. Fane doll thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Fendel? Here, I had to use simple <coughs> words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. I didn't get to look at Fendel's letter. Until next time. Ben's letter from Feindall. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be gr growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I am a true-born son of Valenwood, and I can never befoul my bloodline by courting an imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in the Aldmeri Dominion, and respect me as such. Dearly, Feindall. What a dick! We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Um... Refill my water. Of course. I guess what's her face? Uh, The woman does mm -hmm. the rooms, then. Oh, hi, Fangdolf. Take your time. Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. Okay. All right. You're that visitor been poking around. By poking around, you mean helping people? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Um, okay, do you have a cooking pot? Coming right up. All right. Time to get a good night's rest. This one. Oh, that means your store isn't open. I can't. Well, actually, so no. Camille's right here. You're a strapping young man. Don't be a stranger. I don't like Sven, and since he's right here to witness this anyway. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He. He wanted me to think Fandal wrote this. Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Feindal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Yeah. Until next time. How, how are you playing right now? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll leave alone. Oh, hello. 
Diplo. Bird Fang Dolgo. That's it. Ow! Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Thank you. Um, I think I'm good. I don't need a follower right now. So to uphold my promise to um Forgot their names already. Um, let's go to to uh, White Run. Tell the Jarl about the deadly dragons. I need a horse. Hold. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Um, I have news about the dragons. Oh no, River Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. I'm sure he wouldn't believe that. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. Hey there. If the news from Helgen is true, well, there's no oh, telling. Oh, hi. The meaning of this Jesus. Jarl Balgraf is not receiving Please. visitors. This is no time for rash action. Um. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Why wouldn't they let me in? I don't understand that. Hello. So, you were at Helgen. You saw <sighs> this dragon with your own eyes? Dra dragon destroyed Helgen at la and the last I saw it was heading this way. Here, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue the trial? All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the storm claws. We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains, it's a oh, shit, sorry. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack man. him. I'm a weapon you should have found. Just unshaped. Stop interrupting, dude! Burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment. My brother Riverwood takes counsel from Proventus. Stop! Go away! What a laugh. He takes counsel from his daughter. I'll She's a bloody blacksmith. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. And I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token of my esteem. Do I, do I look and like I use heavy armor? Another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Huh? After you. Do we pick up the pace? Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well. When I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Character has the worst voice acting ever. It's just him, as far as I know. But this is the worst voice acting I've seen in this game. Um, What does this have to do with the dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search 
for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? What do you need I, me to uh, do? I learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. I may have that Go already. Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. How, how would you know that? Interred in the main chamber. What if it's off to the side? Somebody dropped it or something. Yeah, I have it. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. I'm not a brute. Uh, I got the dragon stone. What's next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind. Sadly undervalued in Skyrim. I can help. Take your time. Faringar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? What? Why? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. I got a stone and saw a dragon. How does that qualify me for anything above that? Let's go. So, Yurileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was false. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. We'll burn them. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. I just but saw I it. I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. If the city please, exists after accept this. Accept this gift from my personal armory. I, I don't wear heavy armor. No, I can't afford to risk both. I'm going to disenchant this. Alright, so while Irileth was chatting and running down here, I did some alchemy, disenchanted that armor, and visited the general store. So I should be a little bit more prepared for this fight. I'm gonna also check to see if the Khajiit have anything for me to help me. At least now or later down the road. Why is there an orc with them? Khajiit welcomes you. Take a look. Um. Salt pile. All right, let's do this. After I pick flowers. You know what I wish that was on Skyrim Special Edition right now? Convenient horses. I like being able to store the um, 
the camping gear with the horse. Is that that stuff's heavy? No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, little survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. We, we know what we're dealing with. A dragon. Really? Die, what are you talking about? Hey, what? Got him. I would hope so. Ooh, it's all bloody. I love those enhanced blood textures. Uh, why are you all running? It's just a little wind. Use shout section of the magic menu to equip and un your unrelenting shout. Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Oh no! Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Okay. Nobody else have any opinion on this? Nobody? Not even you, Irileth? There weren't any dragons there, idiot. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. Who are you talking to? What do you say, Irileth? For being awfully quiet. Come on, Irileth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. 
But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are dragonborn, then. Okay. If I'm this dragonborn, I may need a lot more training. 